What do we got here? What do we have to say? Uh, once again, it is my shit house of a team that is in the firing line. I, I'm not even angry anymore. It's just disappointment. You sound uh, like a disappointed father. That I sounds have, so much worse. It, it's just, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed in you. Mm. Um, like here's an interesting stat. Goalless quarters since the start of 2013, and we top the list for 73. Wow. Uh, the next up is Carlton at 68. <laughs> And the, the next one after that is Melbourne at 63. And fourth is GWS at 62. Uh, if that doesn't say that we have an issue with our game plan, I don't know what does. It's, yeah, it's hard to watch. Uh, I think Naif said that one of your, your mates last week said that they were the hardest, most boring to watch team in the, in the AFL. Yeah, and yeah. it's hard to disagree. Um, it's hard to be a fan sometimes. It really is. Uh, I kind of feel embarrassed to wear my jersey out in public. Um, <laughs> that's that. that's that feeling. that's how bad we are. Um, in WA, yeah, two, wanna... two team town. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's rough. It's it's hard to do. Um, like all I've got here is that yeah, like w what is it? Why 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 aren't they giving a shit? Like I don't want to watch my team play anymore. Uh, <laughs> what's oh, going man. on with the coaching? Like we've gone backwards so far. Um, we are no longer flag mantle. We are freeze mantle. <laughs> <laughs> Slow mantle. <laughs> Slow mantle, glacier mantle, whatever you want to fucking call it, that's what we are. And um, yeah, I uh, that's the. I feel I like I don't want to spend any like, more energy. It's just the arrow's like pew, pew, pew. pew. It's like a little arrow this that's week because he was pew. so disappointed. It's, it was more just just lift your game, please. <laughs> it was more of like, a begging. Show some effort. Show some effort, guys. I don't care if we lose as long as you fucking try. It's fair. Very fair. Wait, like, half the team look like their cat had just been ran over. They didn't want to be there. <laughs> like, oh no, I get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to play a sport that I enjoy. Oh, fuck me. Put some effort in. Yeah, they're exactly that. Like, uh... No, I got nothing more to say. Fuck them. <laughs> 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 Pew, pew, pew. Boys Club Award time. Um, so, player I went and saw. So, I went to Carlton and North on Friday. Got to see this player live. And I think I saw him cover the entire ground 18 to 20 times over. He was everywhere in terms of running. Uh, Curtis Taylor from North Melbourne. I'm getting him in nice now before he gets above 100. He's going to get there because he's an absolute star. Um, a North player. Wow. -wee. A North Melbourne player. So well done, North. You've broken the Richmond streak, um, which you had a chance, Richmond. All you had to do was play Thompson fucking Dow. Um, <laughs> but the performance that he had was 18 disposals, 14 kicks, four handballs, eight marks, one tackle, and one goal, two. Uh, and he covered, I think he covered the most, basically covered the most on the ground. Um, not meters gained or anything like that. I'm just cool. talking in terms of co uh, kilometers covered. I think he covered something like 16 to 17 kilometers, mm -hmm. most on the ground. Um, Ollie Holland second, uh, as usual at the moment. Um, but yeah, medium forward, uh, was drafted in 2018, made his debut in round eight, 2019. Uh, he's 188 centimeters, 82 kilos. He's played 56 games and has kicked 25 goals. And welcome to the boys club, Curtis Taylor. <laughs> you remember this, pal? You're a boy in a man's world. Five minutes. 
Go back to Saturday night, April 8th, SCG, Sydney v Port Adelaide, and Ollie Florent refusing to kick a goal after the siren to win the game has actually fast-tracked this week's inductee into the Stevenson Warrior Hall of Fame. Let's flashback. Sunday, July 14th, round 15, 2002, 1.10 p.m. at the SCG. Sydney mm. v Port Adelaide. Barry Hall kicks a running goal to put Sydney in front by four points with 27 seconds left. Port need a hero. Centre bounce. Primus with the hit out. Scramble. But balls flicked up to Schofield, who kicks inside 50, and a mark is taken by my boy, Jared Poulton. Jared Poulton, taken pick five in the, taken pick five in the 1998 preseason draft, ironically made his debut round one, 1999, against Sydney at the SCG. Uh, noted as a halfback flanker or a back pocket plugger, uh, and also noted as an impact the player. Fuck? So why the fuck is in Port Adelaide's forward 50? I don't know. But anyway, guys, guys, stop. Jared Poulton's taken a mark with seconds left. The siren's gone. Crowd pops. A shot after the siren to win the game. This is what you dream of. Every kid in the backyard with big trees lined up with a footy before mum calls you in for dinner. Shot uh. the goal after the siren to win it. Jared Poulton, your time has come. Drop punt. Your time has come. Keys in the ignition. Finger popping in the kitchen. Jared Poulton became the 35th BFL AFL player in history to kick a match-winning goal after the siren. Jared Poulton, what a smile. 88, 88 games, just 20 goals, retired at the end of 2005. Unfortunately, playing for Port Adelaide, he did not play in the 2004 Premiership due to a hamstring injury. No Premiership medal, but an induction into the Stephenson Mori Hall of Fame is good enough for me. I had to look up who that was. Yeah, I thought uh, I was wondering what Mazo was doing, and then he put it, you didn't see. He put his face up it. on the screen. I, I died. I saw it. I was trying to keep my <laughs> you see this head pop, cheek... blonde head pop up. What a cheeky boy. What a boy. There's what a only smart. one true cheeky boy in the AFL. Yeah, well, yeah there it is. Oy. What a cheeky boy. Six matches this week, not five, whatever. Just the one. Ring of Honor. Uh, the Honor Club episode, episode six against Tony Nice. Uh, myself, JD, and Mace, so unable to watch it at this time. I think geographical issues. We're as also well. just not going to sign. I'm not, I don't know if I want to mm -hmm. sign up to Honor Club when it's another service I have to pay for. Yeah, exactly. But uh, how much is it? A, I mean, it'd be, it'd guarantee it's like six to six to ten dollars. Guarantee. Mm. For Ring of Honor as well, we've got to see improvement from Ring of Honor first before we make the investment. Mm. But Takeshita v Tony Nice on a club episode six uh, at the UBS Arena in Elmont, New York. Ten minutes, twenty-five seconds for the win. So we're five episodes in. Takeshita's had ten matches, nine wins, and a loss. He's either That's a good. backstage. He's either a backstage politician or he's on the up. He's the real deal. He's our boy. Mm. But we do have to cover some news as well. Uh, when I found out through JD that Takeshita was meant to be on the main card or super card of honour against Will Ospreay and then getting what we had against Willie Mack. A decent match, but mm. what could have been? What could have Don't been? Don't tell me that. Don't like, tell me that. That's what I'm... That's my initial reaction was, don't tell me that was the plan. I didn't mean to ruin it for you. It was just I know. Fact, that's, I know. What I, that's what I read. I went, no. Yeah, everyone had that reaction. Come on. Will Ospreay, lifted game. First to Kester. Like, mm. oh, and you know, it's Shut uncle. Hey, to be fair, up. though, it means we got to win this. I do, don't know if we faced Osprey if we would have got a win, so. Could have been good, enough. though. But that yeah, is true. to watch. Uh, JD is just gone, and I'm about to go soon, but that's another oh, episode. Oh, I thought he was books. just sitting there. That is oh. another episode <laughs> in the books. In the famous words of JD, though. What, please click like and subscribe and drink more water. JD's back. He may say this, but <laughs> yeah. Hydro homies. Here we go, JD. Finish this I, off. I got the intro ready. We are the AWO. We are the journeyman. JD, Nate, and Meso. Remember to follow us on Instagram at AWO Journeyman. Subscribe to our Spotify and YouTube. Also at AWO Journeyman. 
like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff, and please drink more water. That's some quality H2O. Ah.